A very long time ago, there was a princess named Mirabel. She had a very rigid ram horse on her front head. The story began when a wish placed a curse on her. At the time when she was a baby, because of her parents' offense in the past, Baby Mirabel, now 18 years old, had already grown to be a very beautiful dancer. No other maiden's beauty could be compared to hers. Most villagers often called her beauty goddess. While the girls about Mirabel's age grew jealous of her beauty and the authority she had on them. And also, she ruled the kingdom due to being the only king's heir to the throne after her parents' death. This made all the other maidens of the kingdom even more jealous of her. People who had made children always wished their son could marry her. Even the low standard villagers such as the fishermen, farmers, and the rest of them wished to marry her. But Princess Mirabel had a problem of addressing her subject. She always felt embarrassed about her cause. She could always cover them up with a hat when she was in public, so that the villagers could never know of her secret. The only person who ever saw the princess horn was her hairdresser. Princess Mirabel often pleaded with her hairdresser, You must promise never to tell anyone that I have a ram horn, or else I will banish you from my kingdom. The wicked hairdresser, who is part of her haters, find it difficult to keep the secret. This is my chance to ruin her life by telling the villagers that their stupid princess is a monster with a ram horn. All those her stupid shakara will come down, she said, giggling to herself. The princess 19th birthday party was announced, which is just two days away and everyone in the village was super excited. The next morning, the hairdresser woke up and decided she could tell the villagers she could not keep the secret to herself any longer. She got dressed and left her house and walked out to the village into the countryside inside an uncompleted building. When she was satisfied of where she has gotten, she shouted at the top of her voice, The princess has ram horns on her head. Your dear princess is a monster. Once she has shouted at the princess's secret, the hairdresser felt much better. Then, reassuring herself that she had not really betrayed the princess's trust, Unknown to her, there were children playing hide and seek in the uncompleted building. The children were very surprised to hear the hairdresser's voice, and they giggled and laughed about the secrets of the princess. When they got home that very day, the children told the secret to their parents. Then the parents told the secret to the rest of their family. Then each family told the secret to all of their friends. Our princess have ram horns. They laughed to one another. Very soon, the whole villagers knew about the princess's secret. And they all giggled and laughed because they now knew why the princess always covered up her head with a hat whenever she was out in public. It was on the princess's birthday party 
before she realized that everybody knew her secret because all eyes were on her. She was very embarrassed and out of shame, she burst into tears. Then, Princess Mirabel remembered that the only person who knew about the horn was the hairdresser. Her birthday was a mess as each villager look at their princess in disgust. The message about the princess birthday had reached the wish who once caused the princess when she was a baby. Out of curiosity and willingness to undo her cause, she grabbed her walking stick along with her scarf. With a snap of her finger, she transformed herself into a maiden and headed straight to the palace. On getting to the palace, the news about the princess crying and how her hairdresser revealed her secret of the princess cause reached her. Feeling remorse of the pain she had caused the princess, she immediately transformed back to her real form in the presence of the villagers. It was a gothic fright as everyone in the palace started running for their lives because they all knew how cruel the wish was. My daughter, I haven't come here to cause any trouble. I actually came here to surprise you for your birthday. Again, after reciting some incantations, she clapped both of her hands and the princess once ran home vanished in a blink of an eye. The villagers stood knob and frightened by the wish presence. And for you, who can mind your business? I can also keep your mouth shut. With a snap of finger, the princess hairdresser got large horns, ten times more larger than the princess. This will teach you and others to stop being noisy about other people's affairs. Out of embarrassment, the hairdresser covered her face in shame and left the, and left the village as everyone passing by began to laugh at her. This is the end of the story. What do you learn?